This is a name I probably can't pronounce right. I believe it is Eluthier Irene Dupont de Nemois. I'm going to call him Dupont because we know him as Dupont. Because yes, Dupont is a chemical company that is wildly successful. And even if you don't know a lot about the modern company, you surely have heard the name in your lifetime. And the person who created Dupont has an extremely interesting background. He was born in the in the France. While he was in the France, he grew up to a very wealthy father. Uh, he was sent by his father to to study. Um, his father was a renowned economist and assistant of King Louis the Sixteenth. So his father had friends in very high places. Because of this, uh, the younger Dupont went and was given a, a great education. He learned a lot about chemistry and explosives and gunpowder. And in fact, he his first job was uh, becoming, he made gunpowder for the French army, King Louis the 16th French army, some of which probably made its way to the United States to help fight in the war. Now, additionally, his father was a publisher and DuPont, in addition to his other studies, helped publish books uh, for his father's print shop and he published newspapers for his father's print shop and he as this time the french revolution was coming and he read everything that was being published in his father's print shop and he got certain republican ideals now this was not a great idea during the french revolution especially if you were nobility uh because once the french revolution breaks out uh originally the dupont and his father are welcomed by the revolutionaries okay yeah print us some stuff but then people start getting guillotined left and right and they were nobility and they did not like seeing their noble friends getting guillotined they were trying to hang out with the cause they wanted to promote the the the, the republican values but you can't not even kill us off eventually they don't like the whole idea and they actually help king louis escape paris though that doesn't last long and king louis doesn't get things doing so good uh it actually, no, DuPont and his father are both arrested during the Reign of Terror, and DuPont's father is scheduled to be executed, but fortunately, the Reign of Terror ends uh, uh, really when, when the, the Directory takes over and then Napoleon comes around, uh, ending the Reign of Terror, and actually, you know, like it or not, his methods, he did uh, cool down the public violence in France. After this, really disenchanted with France, having, you know, almost been executed, the DuPont family decides to relocate somewhere. Now, the younger DuPont had made friends with an American in Paris during this time, a young middle-aged man named Thomas Jefferson. And because they were so friendly with Jefferson, Jefferson convinces DuPont, as we do, Jefferson's good at convincing people to move to the United States. You know, we talked about Elizabeth Trist earlier. Now he convinces the DuPont family to move to New York City. Most of them move to New York City, except today's hero, uh, Elethier Irene Dupont de Noir, uh, E.I. Dupont, moves to Maryland, where he buys land from Constitution signer Jacob Broom, uh, and starts, what else? A gunpowder manufacturer, because he had so much experience with gunpowder. And the American gunpowder, for lack of a better word, at least from his perspective, was garbage. It was garbage gunpowder, and DuPont wanted to make some seriously sweet gunpowder. That worked. End of sentence. <laughs> that worked. Uh, and he did. And while he's there, he ends up making um, the... Uh, he, he creates the E.I. DuPont de Noir and Company. Company. That's the name of his company. Uh, over the years, it becomes simply known as DuPont. And this is in the early 1800s again. He comes over uh, j uh, just before, just about the time Thomas Jefferson's taking over as president. DuPont comes to the United States. Uh, again, his family moves to New York, but he starts making gunpowder. Gunpowder helps, especially in the War of 1812. Which, when the Americans win, it's nice to have real, actual working gunpowder. And furthermore, he expands the company. And the company's expanded now for over 200 years, and it makes everything in the chemistry field uh, from this item to that item. I don't know a lot about chemistry. I'm sure powders and potions. I'm sure they make weapons. <laughs> um, and, you know, fill in the blank. Go ahead and look up what DuPont makes. Again, it's a name you recognize. I've, 
I didn't take a lot of time to look up into what they're making nowadays, but it's a wide variety of chemicals and chemical related substances. <laughs> and that is uh, the foundation of DuPont. It is a Frenchman and most of his story is in France, but he comes over and is a founder of American, good American gunpowder. <laughs> 